people would remember anything else. Most people alive would be born under Ramesses. And as their fathers died off and the reign went on, by the time the end of his reign, nobody had known any other king. I suspect it was probably greeted with disbelief. <laughs> people must have thought he really was going to live forever. After Ramses II's death, his 13th son, Merenniptah, inherited the throne. Experts claim he was probably between 50 and 60 years old when he began ruling the Egyptian empire. But in the end, he would not live up to the powerful legacy of his father. Merenniptah doesn't reign very long. What happens after his death is very interesting. Certainly, he had children. But we still have all the rest of Ramsay's sons and daughters. And there appears to have been some kind of um, strife or skirmish between Merneptah's line, which rightfully deserved to rule, and the rest of Ramsay's line. And what we think is that one of Ramsay's sons took over. Ramsay's death marked the end of an era. The mighty empire he had successfully maintained for decades was badly shaken. Perhaps the many problems that plagued his offspring could have been avoided had the mighty pharaoh not outlived so many of them. Ramses buried at least 12 of his children before his own death. Ramses himself was buried in a tomb known as King's Valley No. 7, or KV-7. Unfortunately, much of the tomb's interior has been destroyed by flash flooding. Today, there's an ongoing excavation by a French team of archaeologists. They're searching for more information about this elusive ancient monarch. Interestingly, as the French team continues their work,